What's going on, nation? And welcome to your dumbbell full body at home burnout workout. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do six supersets. Now, a superset is when you do two exercises at the same time and you take no rest in between each set. Now, once you complete the first superset, you can take a 60 second max break before you start the next one. Now, we're gonna be doing six of them, and you're gonna need an exercise ball for the third one. For the first superset, you're gonna need a pair of dumbbells. What we're gonna do is a dumbbell floor chest press and a bent over dumbbell row. And what you're gonna do is three to five sets, and you're gonna do six to 12 reps. Okay, guys? So the first one for the dumbbell floor press, you're gonna push straight up, just like this. Keep your back flat, keep your head down. You can bring your legs up like this so they're at a 90 degree angle. You're gonna come down, and push straight up. Make sure you keep your wrist straight. Breathe out on the way up. Then you're gonna do six to 12 reps. Now what you also can do is if you wanna make this exercise harder, is when you come down, don't let your elbows touch the ground. If it's a little heavy for you, you can let them touch the ground for a second and then push back up. Now as soon as you finish these six to 12 reps, you're gonna get up while holding the dumbbells, you're gonna do a dumbbell bent over row. A dumbbell bent over row, keep a slight bend in your knees, keep a bend in your back straight, neutral spine, put the dumbbells out in front of you, and pull them up like this. Breathe out and then way up. Now if you wanna make this exercise a little bit harder, you can do a reverse grip, which basically means taking your hands, turning them this way, and then pulling them right up. And you're really gonna hit your upper back, your rhomboids a little harder. Breathe out on the way up. Six to 12 reps, three to five sets. And remember, no rest in between the sets, okay? As soon as you finish your superset, you can go to the next superset, which is gonna be alternating dumbbell front raise with a hammer curl. So an alternating dumbbell front raise, three sets, eight to 12 reps this time. Bring one arm up, bring it down, bring the other arm up, and bring it down. So this is gonna be a one-one count. So two, two, three, three, and do eight to 12 reps. As soon as you finish the alternating dumbbell front raise, you can do dumbbell hammer curls. Now for the hammer curls, you can do both arms at the same time, just like this. Keep your elbows in front of your hips, breathe out on the way up. Remember guys, three sets, eight to 12 reps, go back and forth between both exercises until you complete the three sets. As soon as you finish, you're allowed a 60 second max break. Now remember, for the third superset, you're gonna need an exercise ball. And what you're gonna do is dumbbell single arm extensions and then a dumbbell rear delt raise. You can do three to four sets this time with eight to 10 reps per exercise. So, for the single arm extensions, you need one dumbbell. If you sit your butt down as low as you can, it's gonna allow you to put more tension on your tricep as you hold the dumbbell over your head. Take the hand that you're not using, rest it on your bicep by your elbow, so that when you come down, you have some support. Come down to a 90 degree angle, extend on the way up and breathe up. Bring it down, extend and breathe up. Just like this, as soon as you finish eight to 10 reps, switch sides, bring it down, Breathe up. Eight to 10 reps on this side. As soon as you're done, you're gonna grab your other dumbbell and you're gonna do a rear delt raise while laying on the ball. And this exercise might be a little harder and rather than use lighter dumbbells. What you're gonna do is lay on your chest, get a nice wide stance, pull the dumbbells in front of you like this and bring them up. Breathe out on the way up. Eight to 10 reps. As soon as you're done, complete three to four sets, and then move on to the next superset. Next superset, you're gonna do a laying reverse crunch while holding dumbbells over your head. As soon as you finish 20 reps of those, you do three to four sets, alternating between that and doing a wide plank. All right, let's get started. So guys, three to four sets, 20 repetitions, then you do a lying reverse crunch. Hold your hands over your head, Start off with your feet on the ground, keep your back flat, bring your knees to the dumbbells. As you come up, bring your knees to a 90 degree angle, breathe out on the way in, breathe in on the way out. 
Flex those abs as hard as you can. Remember, you're gonna do 20 reps. One more, breathe out on the way in. As soon as you finish 20 reps there, you're gonna do a wide plank. Now, a wide plank is simple. Put your body up in the air like this, and you're gonna bring the dumbbells out as far as you can, hold it for two to three seconds, and then bring them back in, and that counts as one rep. So, hold it for one to two seconds, bring it back in, back out, hold it again, keep your body straight as a plank, bring it back in, and that's rep two. So you're gonna go as far as you can, 20 times, three to four sets, move on to the next superset. Now the next thing you're gonna do is a dumbbell squat press into a Romanian deadlift, okay? So for this exercise, you're gonna do five sets of 10 to 20 reps. You're gonna hold the dumbbells up like this, Keep your elbows in line with your hips. Now what you're gonna do, start off with them over your head. As you come down to the squat position, bring your hands down. As you come up, push up. So, down, 90 degree angle with your legs, push straight up, push through your heels, breathe out, push your arms over your head. One, two, remember you do 10 to 20 reps. Three, do one more. Keep those elbows forward, four. Next thing you're gonna do is a Romanian deadlift. Remember, no break between supersets. Romanian deadlift, keep the same stance you had for your squat, about shoulder length apart, hold your arms out in front of you, maintain a neutral spine, arch your back a little bit, keep a slight bend in your knees, come forward as far as you can, and then bring yourself back up, Keeping that core nice and tight. One. Bring it down. Breathe out on the way up. Two. Breathe in on the way down. Out on the way up. Three. 10 to 20 reps. Back and forth. Don't stop until you go back and forth five times. As soon as you're done that, one minute break. On to the last superset. What you're gonna do is a dumbbell standing calf raise, then you're gonna do dumbbell active jumps. Now for the standing calf raise and for the dumbbell active jumps, you're gonna do five sets of 50 to 100 reps, okay? Sounds intense, but I know you can do it. This is the last superset, guys, so you wanna tear it up. So you're gonna put your feet about shoulder length apart, and you're gonna basically go from flat to as high as you can on your toes, and bring it down. When you get to the top, I want you to squeeze your calves as hard as you can. So, go about this pace, not too fast, not too slow. Make sure you're really pushing through your toes, flexing those calves. Five sets, 50 to 100 reps. As soon as you're done, you're going to do dumbbell active jumps. Hold the dumbbells in front of you like this. Get on your toes and just bounce in the air. Now, you don't want your heels to touch the ground but you want them to get as close as they can. So again, 50 to 100 reps. As soon as you're done, go back to the dumbbell standing calf raises, five sets. As soon as you finish that, you're done this workout. So, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, more good stuff coming soon. See ya.